So I'm visiting Alderney. This is Alderney High Street. It's not High Street, it's Victoria Street. But the point is I'm looking to buy some property, relocate, and what a fantastic sunny day. And I'm looking for Frank. I've been looking for Neil recently, but now I'm looking for Frank. Look at this view. Hi. So I've now seen Frank's estate agency, Hawksford. Let's go and look at some amazing property here in the island of Alderney. Let's go. As all of you know, I've been traveling the world looking at luxury real estate, and I'm on this fabulous island called Alderney. This chap called Frank phoned me and said, oh, seen the channel, love it. You've got to come and visit me. So I am now in Alderney with Frank. So Frank, welcome. Hi Paul, thank you very much. Love, love to see you. It's fantastic that it's, uh, we, we get this opportunity to talk to you today. Mm -hmm. So Alderney is part of the Bailiwick of Guernsey? That's right, it is, but it's self-governing. Yeah. Fantastic, yeah. okay. Tell me a little bit more about the place. So how, how big is the place? Because yeah. last night at dinner, there was a bit, it's three by one, it's three by two, it's three by, what is it, yeah, three by Yeah, one? well, I think it's three by one and a half, yeah. Okay, With miles. Miles, yeah. Okay, brilliant. And a population of 2,000 people. Yeah. And the island really, uh, from our perspective, is unique from the other Channel Islands in that, unlike Guernsey and Jersey, uh, the uh, housing market, there's no restrictions. So for all of the watches, in Alderney, there is just one property market. So That's anyone right. can come and buy. There's not yes. the differential like Jersey and Guernsey where there's local markets, no, open not. markets. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's just all one market. All one market, that's right. Wow, yeah. that's yeah. amazing. Yeah. As a rule of thumb, property prices in, in, in Alderney are somewhere in the region of 50% of less than they are in Jersey and Guernsey. Sure, we don't have the infrastructure, but at the same time, the island has so many benefits. You know, beautiful beaches, fantastic walks, uh, perfectly safe. I think we only have three police officers on the island. Yeah. Uh, a lot of people tend to leave their keys in cars. We've noticed. <laughs> <laughs> we had an amazing day yesterday where we were doing some content mm. and the, so many people said, oh, go capture some content at my house. The door is unlocked. Mm. Let yourself in. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, we saw that's... some great pussy cats in one house. Yes, <laughs> we just yes. walked in. Yeah, yeah. I opened the door, the cats tried to get out. We're thinking, oh God, should those cats stay in the house? Should they, should they be outside? <laughs> yes, <laughs> but yeah. It was amazing. Yeah, and on that note, we have, of course, the famous blonde hedgehog. The blonde hedgehog. The only blonde hedgehog in the world. Mm. Wow. Yeah. So there are hedgehogs that are blonde? Yes, yes. Wow. We what? even have a hotel called the Blonde Hedgehog. So you got a hotel called the Blonde Hedgehog? Named you... after our hedgehogs. Wow. <laughs> have you seen one? Yeah, funnily enough, the other night we, we were, of course they tend to come out at, at night, yeah. and we were walking back, as you do in Albany, because you don't really need a car, you walk yeah. everywhere. Yeah. And lo, lo and behold, there it was, this beautiful blonde hedgehog looked at me and I thought, ooh. And yeah, obviously he, was, <laughs> he, he obviously was fixed on where he was going, so yeah. he knew where he was going, off he went. Fantastic. So yeah, it was quite, quite amazing. <laughs> but we don't have uh, squirrels or magpies, apparently, on the island. No squirrels, no magpies, mm. but you have blonde hedgehogs. That's yes. amazing. Yes. <laughs> I love learning new things every day when I've been traveling the world. So with property then, so mm. anything's possible here in terms of you've got, what, what flats have you got? E Two beds, holiday homes, what, what sort of makeup yeah, do you have? That's right, it starts really from flats, as you say, probably a two bedroom flat around about the 220, 230 mark upwards, depending on the quality of yeah. the property. Midway, you'd be looking at 300,000, 350, 400,000. You could be looking at two or three bedroom property, a bungalow with a nice garden. Then it moves up 500 odd thousand, right up to properties where we've got on the market at just under the two million mark. So there's, there's quite a range uh, of properties, yeah. Some of the ones that I've seen are like, big country homes, like five beds, mm -hmm. a yeah. few acres of land, yeah. sea views. Yes, we've got that, yeah, yeah. There's one property which is five bedrooms and uh, five acres of land. Now, if you consider wow. that in into sort of like perspective, perspective to the Alderney itself, that's a massive area of land. What's your favorite part of the island? Well, we've got a small gorilla. He's actually a standard poodle, but he looks like a small gorilla. Okay. And uh, Buddy and we walk him each afternoon and it's either uh, lovely uh, cliff park walks that we go on um, or on the beaches uh, which you can do through yeah. this at this time of the year yeah and um, yes I would say probably my favorite part of the island 
is going to have to be Clonk Bay, which is because in Clonk, yeah, okay, yeah. it's only got one small cottage, which used to be um, my grandparents lived there. Okay. And um, in Clonk, you've got the most amazing sunsets every night. Yeah, we tend to go out there most right. evenings and just, a lot of people do, and just watch the sunset. Right. Um, and I'm going to tell you something on that, okay? Done. In 1922, it was a foggy night, and my grandfather uh, was woken up by the dog barking outside. And my grandmother said, is that someone trying, trying to steal the coal? So, steal the coal? Steal the coal. Okay, yeah, yeah. So my, my, my grandfather lit a hurricane lantern, which is now in the museum. Okay. And he ran outside, and the dog was barking because a ship had come in on the rocks no. in thick fog. Wow. And he could see the lights, and uh, the people were screaming and shouting, getting into the lifeboat. So he ran down to the water's edge and waved his lantern so as it was were. the only light. And they rode for that light, and so he saved all their lives. Wow. Uh, and to this day... What she... ship? Do you remember the name? Okay, the ship is called the Emily Evenson. Emily Evenson. And what year was this? Uh, 1922. Wow, 1922. And, uh, and the coincidence here is my grandmother was Emily. Yeah. She thought they were stealing coal, people stealing coal, and the cargo was coal. No way. So that's the connection. So his lantern is in the museum, and there's a, a little article in the Guernsey Press entitled Saved by a Dog. <coughs> Saved so there's, by there's a, a, dog. a bit of a story there for that's you. That's fantastic. I mean, for me, it's kind of like a bit of prayer meditation, but saved by the sea. But mm. to be saved by a dog and, and the noise, how yeah. amazing is that? Yeah. To go out with a hurricane lantern and attract. Because they would have been rowing in the lifeboat in yep. 22. There wouldn't yep. have been any kind of safety equipment. Mm, no. Well, you see, he, he used to low water fish there. So he actually knew where all the gullies were. Yeah. So he knew where to lead them through the rocks. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's amazing. Yeah, and the captain apparently wanted to buy his dog. But of course, he said, my dog's for sale. <laughs> you know. I think there's lots of entrepreneurial people where they say everything's for sale at the right <laughs> yes, price. Yes, you know? that's not, no, that's too far. The dog. Yeah. I remember Sylvester Stallone, when he was penniless, homeless, and he sold his dog just before he wrote Rocky. Oh, no, I didn't know and, that. And uh, yeah. he was fighting and fighting to find someone to produce the film mm -hmm. and he finally persuaded someone to do it but they said they'll give you 50,000 for the script 100, 200, whatever and he said no I am going to be in the film I am Rocky um, and the rest is kind of history yeah, he kind of produced it yeah. was in it was the star and he yeah. then went to find the man to buy his dog back and I think he paid many thousands of pounds to get his dog back, to get his dog back. Well, that's a story so there you go, yeah, dog you go. story. <laughs> <laughs> kind of having a bit of a yes. fun morning with this one. With this Incredible. One. Yes. And, and how long have you lived here? Yeah, well, we've been here, we've lived here now nine years. I, I came over here nine years ago to uh, project manage the building of nine uh, flats and four houses for the Ordinary Housing Association. And then when we finished that, because um, we were originally from Jersey, yeah. uh, and Jersey's like a really busy place now. Yeah. Yeah. 120,000 people, a lot of wow. traffic. Yeah. They're here. You, you saw a car pass just then, that, 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 you know, there's hardly any traffic I said here. to Ollie on Friday night that we saw three cars at about rush hour, and I think that must have been less home time. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> and know, of course no so traffic beautiful. lights, so they, you can't get to any confusion or I love the delays. place, I mean for me when you're busy, to come and find just peace and calm, mm. and be kind of like with one at nature. Well that's what I like about it, and I also paint, uh, and there's a lot of local artists that paint here, and uh, a lot of my work is sunsets of Klonk because that's where you're drawn to and attracted yeah, to. Yeah. And I would say that the island, it's, it's got this sort of serenity about it, calming, uh, which is exactly what I think you want in your yeah. later years in life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so it's not the fast lane, I would say it's the, the right lane. Connectivity, so we've got one airline servicing yep. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Alderney, which is either via Southampton or yeah, Guernsey. That's right, yeah. Yep. So we've got Orini, so you've got direct flights to Southampton, so direct links there, or to Guernsey, and then from Guernsey up to Gatwick. Yeah, yeah. and then there are many people that, if you're lucky enough and have some disposable cash, you can fly privately. Yes, you share, can. Share an aeroplane, yep. fly yep. with an aeroplane that's got an air operator certificate, so you yep. can yep. come and go as you wish. Yeah. If you've yep. done well in life, it's kind of yep. probably the best way to travel if you live on yeah. the island. I had a gentleman call the other day, and uh, this is what I love about the business. He, he gave me an indication of what he's looking for, and he said, I'm also looking to maybe buy a, a, a light aircraft yeah. uh, and fly to and fro Guernsey. 
And I said, Ooh, I said, I think I can help you there. I said, I, I don't think you need to do that. He mm. said, because he wants to put it in a hangar. Yeah. Now our hangar, private hangar is full. Yeah. And, uh, but I do know that there's a group here that have a lovely six seater Cherokee nice. uh, already in the hangar and they're looking for two more shareholders. Fantastic. So um, he so was delighted. They, it, buy a property, buy a share in an aeroplane. Yep. It's your holiday home yep. or it's your main home, whichever mm. you prefer to come and go to your life. Yep. Yep. Fantastic. So, so the buying process, here then so I arrive I want to buy a property you show me around some amazing properties mm -hmm. what's the process so I make an offer how does that work once you've viewed the property and you're comfortable you then make an offer we then approach obviously the vendors and get feedback from the vendors and whether that's acceptable there's normally a little bit of negotiating goes yeah. on at that yeah. stage and then normally if the purchaser is keen enough then there's there, there will be a, a, a figure that they will, will, will agree to and then once that's agreed the next stage is to draft conditions of sale but what we always advise is that anyone that's looking to purchase that then we, we put them or, or recommend that they approach uh, and uh, have a Guernsey advocate right. to uh, so act for them. Guernsey's legal system oversees and, and, and covers the transactions for yeah, Alderney. Yeah, yeah okay. for property transactions, that's right, yeah. So, and there's um, numerous Guernsey firms that have a lot of experience in conveyancing for Alderney properties. Uh, the lawyer will check title, uh, carry out a report. The other thing also is that we, we recommend that, that uh, clients have a survey mm -hmm. carried out on the property. Yeah. Once you're happy, then we go through the process of the sale, which is carried out through the Alderney courts. And so from start to finish, if I turn up today and I say, Frank, I found this lovely cottage you've showed me, mm. how quickly from today, mm -hmm. how many days mm -hmm. could the fastest transaction be done? Okay, well, the fastest I've done was three weeks. So from start 15 to finish. working days. Yeah, start working days. Wow, yeah, that's finish, and, and the key's handed over. Yeah. Um, so that's the fastest. But I would say you're probably looking realistically about, about double that, six weeks. Six so, weeks. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. From start to finish. Yeah. And if you were to have some finance, from a bank, mm -hmm. would that delay the process a little or? No, not really. I mean, no. they, they would work with the uh, the advocates. Yeah, so obviously if, if there's finance, then a, the bond will be sorted out. So again, that'll be done through the Guernsey advocates. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. And is there anything else I need to think about moving to Alderney or need to know? I would say that Alderney's like Marmite. You either love it or you hate it. Um, wow. it you know, yeah, it's one of those because we have do have couples that have, have moved here and the husband's like got quite a high position in, in possibly working for the civil service mm -hmm. uh, on one instance that I knew, but his wife was never quite comfortable here. So it, it, after about two or three years, it didn't work. You've got to be... That's a long time to persevere with something. To, persevere. to me, I'm, I'm more of a two or three months <laughs> kind of guy yeah but it's yes. working i'm yeah. done yeah i move well well he liked it but unfortunately his wife didn't but so yeah you've got to have both both partners have got to be um you know happy someone said to me on the plane last night they were staying on clonky is it clonky car fort or Go yeah on. that's um owned by the landmark trust and it sleeps i think 16 people so and, um, and, and, and there, there is an amazing video produced by a local photographer, yeah. uh, Steve Phelan, and uh, I said to him, "My word, you've got to you've got to hand that to the Landmark Trust." And it's a bay window of the fort, and on a high tide, the waves hit the window and fl fl go back down again. And I said to him, "That's amazing. Where in the world would you better spend time in a in a fort yeah. uh, and experience that?" Wow. Yeah. Oh, oh, and another thing he did, you'll, you'll love this. The tide was just on the causeway. Yeah. And he drove his car and it looked like he was driving on water. Fantastic. And yeah. he filmed it. And I said, Steve, you've got to send that to yes. the Landmark Trust. Fantastic. How do you get to your house? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I just drive, <laughs> drive on water. You know, it's, you know, it's, it's what you do. That's all to me. I think, I think you also touched on Fort Torgy, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's a, a magnificent Victorian fort. And I think there was 365 uh, soldiers were, were barracked there uh, back in its time. We'll There's, go and have a look at that today. We'll have a look at that. And we won't and spoil it. And we can chat it. about that. We won't spoil it for we'll the viewers. We'll have a chat about that. I think for yeah. me that's kind of an interesting mm. twist. Twist. Okay, yes, okay. We'll go, we'll go with that then. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Frank, so that's amazing. So mm -hmm. thank you always for watching. Please like and subscribe. It really helps the channel. And if you want to reach out and make contact with Frank, his details will be in the description below. Thank you as always, and Frank, 
Thank you so, so much for today. Yep, thank it's you. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. Perfect.